everybody. It is Father's Day, June 16th, I think. It's, I have no idea what time it is. It's morning. I don't know. Nine something? Eight something? I don't know. Anyway, my father, uh, my father, my husband is inside talking to his mom and we're going to be getting together with the kids later and calling my dad to wish him Happy Father's Day before that. But anyway, it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day out. So we're going to go explore downtown Portland and spend the day out. So I'll bring you with us where I can. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. I'll be back. By the way, it's 9.44 a.m. I just checked. <laughs> East Portland. We've got the whole family in the car, including Lily Bean back Hello. there. See her? She can't decide which window to look out. The whole back of my car is going to have doggy nose prints. All of the windows. <laughs> stopped to take pictures and they all kept walking without me. He's back there. How pretty is that back there? Portland Rose Garden, International Rose Garden. They supply the roses to the Rose Garden where we used to live in San Jose. Fun fact. up the hill but now we need to test the bench yeah gotta test out this bench make sure it fits it's stable it works. Wrong. yeah for like five minutes yeah the really kids. quick good morning to you uh it is monday morning june 17th 9 24 a.m don't get all excited hello the ipad's right there uh i am up and showered i have been for a few hours waiting for uh, workmen to get here to fix a couple things around the house and um, I needed to get some stuff done before they got here and I you know don't want to have them show up and me still be in my pajamas so I got up and got early and got dressed um, it's a beautiful sunny day out it's not going to be warm but not too hot so I've got windows open um, this Monday, June 17th, unfortunately, a very dear friend of ours and her husband are laying their son to rest, uh, to his final rest. Uh, Chris passed away last month, right before Mother's Day. I wish her and her family my sincere condolences on such a loss. That's something no parent should ever have to deal with. Um, and. Although I can't be with them today, my thoughts are with them and their family, um, and we're here for them always. So I know you all don't know her and her family, but if you would send your love and support her way regardless, that would be great. 
um, and anyone else who's suffering such a loss right now. Uh, anyway, before I cry, um, <laughs> I'm going to get off the phone and um, get a few more things done before the workmen show up. They should be here any minute, so they're due within like five minutes. So let's hope I don't hear. That's interesting. Oops. Oh, shit. Or huh today because all of those phrases when the contractors and repairmen say they always cost you money <laughs> so and we have two different repairmen coming today to fix two different issues so holy cow all right i'll so be the back. awning people have come and gone they fixed the broken piece in the awning but then said you have a bad gear we're going to go check our warehouse and we'll hopefully be back today with a gear to fix it i still haven't paid them a dime they didn't ask we're maybe going to replace the fabric on the awning so they left some samples here that I looked at I did pick a couple and a fabric so the guy's gonna uh, they took some measurements he's gonna get me an estimate and then the plumber has been and gone and figured out what was wrong with the toilet and um, nothing major no holes in the wall thank goodness um, but he is gonna fix the problem and I'm just gonna have him put in a new toilet because there are some pieces inside the toilet that are a bit past it anyway so you know what I don't want to have to call him to come back he's a nice guy but you know Let's just be one and done. So he's off to get a new toilet and he'll be this back. This is what the bathroom looks like. Cause yeah, this is the bathroom where I wash my paint brushes, by the way, my paint washing things are yeah. in there. It's gonna be a uh, probably $1,500 day. <laughs> and I haven't even been anywhere. Gone shopping, done anything fun. <laughs> just getting stuff fixed around the house. Joy for me. <laughs> holy cow at least I didn't hear oh that's interesting or oh shit or <laughs> any of those other things contractors say that you know you, when they say them all you hear is ka-ching <laughs> ay 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 <laughs> all right that's it for the moment I'll be back see that over my shoulder so I tried the polymer clay thing again with my wax seals only this time they baked correctly so I do think it was a maybe a combination of me not maybe having the temperature right on the oven but also the clay this clay is brand new very easy to condition very soft the old clay super hard so maybe that's it I don't know maybe I didn't condition it enough because it was really old clay that I mean you know I'm just assuming user error Anyway, now I have them sitting in the molding putty. Cross your fingers, it works the way I want it to. <laughs> we'll find out. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, June 18th, I think. Listen, I only know that or sort of know that because yesterday, unfortunately, was the memorial service for the son of a dear friend of mine. I think I mentioned that yesterday, so, you know, yeah, even I kind of remember what day it is. <sighs> anyway, I'll say the sewing machine um, repair and vacuum repair place has a really good reputation on the internet and good reviews on Yelp. And it's on Main Street, which is a cute little street in Tigard but it's right next to a massage parlor. <laughs> <coughs> Which I'm sure is legitimate. I'm sure. But, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, Serge are all dropped off for cleaning and maintenance. Uh, Ace Sewing uh, Machine and Vacuum. They have two offices, one in here in Tigard and one in Newburgh. And they have good reviews online. And some of the reviews involve them working on vintage machines. And um, those reviews are very good. And my, my searcher, unfortunately, I think qualifies for that category. I think it's old enough. Um, anyway, uh, so they are going to... Uh, spruce it up it'll be a week or two and then when I get it back I'll be back to sewing the knits so yep now 
I'm gonna head home and put my groceries away. Hopefully the ice cream's not too melted. And then I need to go upstairs and make an ATC card and a paper clip today. Maybe chat with my art friends and yeah, I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, June 19th, 1, 11 p.m. Don't get excited, hello. I'm scanning a bunch of old painty papers Mostly of mine. I think one might be my friend Shannon Green's. I know somebody gave it to me and I know I didn't do it. At least I'm pretty sure I didn't. Uh, this one. I love it so much. And I'm going to make a personal use copy of it um, before I cut up the original. And so anyway, I'm doing that today. And I've already got all of my social media stuff done today and the artwork obligations I needed to have done. I've doing laundry downstairs, stuff like that. Keeping myself busy because I have a doctor thing in the morning early that's got me a little bit stressed out. Nothing bad, it's just a test, but I stress about it all the time, so. So y'all know I'm stressed out about tomorrow's doctor visit, not because it's a big deal, but just because I don't like doctors. Hate doctors. Hate doctors, yeah. Hate them, hate them. But we're gonna go for a walk. I'm trying to keep busy, not eat chocolate. <laughs> It looks like according to the scale I've lost at least three pounds and so yeah let's keep it up anyway we're gonna go see what we can see we're gonna go a new way right yeah we're gonna go try a different route tonight yep all right so we'll be back good morning everybody it's Thursday morning April uh, April holy cow June 20th, I think, 6.56 a.m. I am not awake, that's obvious. I've only had one cup of coffee. I am headed out this morning for my doctor's appointment. <sighs> yeah, anyway, and then I've got okay. to run a doctor visit's all done, but how annoying is it that they pushed your appointment out two weeks so they could get your old records and then when you show up this morning they still don't have them yet. So after I was done uh, with the doctors I had to sit in the car and make a bunch of phone calls and step on some toes. So hopefully they get those records that they need in a timely manner. o'clock and it's probably time for me to eat lunch. I ate breakfast late so I haven't been hungry until just now. Um, I did get some more of the polymer clay. Um, you know I did the wax seals. I've been doing them in polymer clay. I shared on social media. There we go. Uh, last night. So if you don't if you didn't see that and you don't follow me on social media how come? Um, if you look in the video description and if you're on a TV when you get onto your PC um, or your phone go to the brow Facebook in your browser app and not in the, in the Facebook app it's easier um, in the Facebook go to YouTube in the browser <laughs> and not in the YouTube app anyway in the video description there is a link tree list of links 
and in there besides all the places you can f support me on social media like my Etsy shop um, 28 new stencils hello uh, merch on Teespring and Society6 and Amazon affiliate all that stuff you can also find my social media links Instagram Twitter Facebook and all that so go check it out anyway I made some more of those clay tiles and I put a box together for my sister she's uh, she makes she is a feng shui expert and um, she's studying to be a feng shui master and she makes fairy houses her business is very feng shui I will link it in the description below and um, she helped us um, she's also an expert at organizing and moving people packing people up like that whole business anyway I'll link her business in the description below she's helped us so much anyway she also makes fairy houses and uh, for her property she has this beautiful piece of property in Utah and she was she saw the wax seals I think I mentioned it before in the vlog and she loved them and I was and she says they would be cute on the fairy houses and I laughed and said honey you live in Utah they'll melt their wax so then that got me thinking though and I've been making them in clay and resin and I kept some for myself but I'm sending her a whole box of stuff including some of the mistakes I thought she might be able to use some of the ones that didn't come out so well for like little fairy stepping stones or something so I'm gonna send her a box of stuff got that done got some bookkeeping a little bit of bookkeeping done um, got the social media thing done late but I got it done and now I'm gonna empty all the garbage cans because yeah up here I'm gonna do all the ones up here and then downstairs and then I'm gonna eat lunch I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet I kind of want to boil some eggs maybe all right I'll see I'll see well, well I'll think about it we'll be back the lights kind of weird uh, it's overcast outside um, and it is a typical overcast Portland day it can't decide to be cloudy and dark or sunny and it doesn't know which it wants to do so the lights weird Technically, it's still morning. I've got three minutes left. <laughs> anyway, it is Thursday. No, I'm sorry. Friday, <laughs> June 21st. It is 11.57 a.m. Um, it's been a crazy morning. It's going to be a crazy few days. It's going to be, I said before, <clears throat> the few days prior and the week after are going to be a bit stressful. There's just a lot going on. Um, so stressful that I've started doing daily pages again to deal with some of the anxiety. I really do find that therapeutic. I don't know that I need to definitely for myself do it all the time, but when I am feeling anxious and stressed out, I definitely find it very therapeutic to get it out on three pages of writing um, in the morning or in the evening. I'm trying right now in the morning 
I think the morning might be a little bit better for me, but in the evening, if it's really bad, it does help quiet my mind so I can go to sleep. So um, I just write three pages, whatever's on my mind. I don't stop and bother with spelling or punctuation. It's one giant run-on sentence for three pages. So anyway, um, I did that this morning. I did my paper clips for the next couple of days, my ATC cards for the next couple of days, um, social media. I have to update the website. I haven't done that yet. Right now we're going to go take some Etsy orders to, over to McCann's and drop them off and I need to mail a box to my sister. The awning people were back again today fixing the awning. So that's all fixed. It's so strange though. We haven't paid them. Evidently they're going to bill us. They do the work first and then they bill you afterwards. The installer guys do not accept payment. It, it's, uh, it's weird. Anyway, they did a great job. It's just odd. I'm not used to that. We skipped walking last night. We were just too tired. But we're out walking tonight. We've got a um, company. Hang on. Joining us. Yeah, we're dog sitting again. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. It's all good. Little grandparents. We're in the airport again. We're in California just for the day. And they're both rolling their eyes at me. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. We are in the San Francisco airport. It's been a crazy day. We're on the way home now. We flew down to California for the day for some appointments and things. Um, this is a mad rush. We did have time to go to lunch at the counter, which is great, and also a quick trip to Daiso. So I'll share what I got later. Right now we're gonna find the gate and we all need a drink. So we'll be back. We are back in Oregon. It was a tiring but quick trip. I wanted to show you guys really quick before I close the vlog what I got at Daiso. So Daiso has these uh, face masks, this one particularly. It's one of the few that will moisturize and condition my face without making me break out. So I really do like this one. Uh, they did have a cucumber one, so I'm gonna try that. I found these pens that uh, appearance-wise look very much like the Stabilo markers. I did test them out while we were having um, some drinks at the airport before we flew to came, come back home. Um, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on those and compare them to the actual Stabilos in next week's vlog. But we are going to do that because I do own the other Stabilos somewhere upstairs. I also picked up three more of these. So Daiso has these wire um, cups. They hang on, they will fit on the side of the Ikea carts. I don't think that's what they're for, but um, and I, I use them at the um, work table and I hang them on the sides of the wire shelving at either end of the work table. They work great. Um, so I picked up three more of these. That was all they had, so I got them. So that's it. We're really tired, but um, we're home. Yay. It's been a interesting week. <laughs> um, we hope you've had a good one. We have. And um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the uh, down below. And if you want to follow me on social media, support the free content here or over on Facebook, uh, or send me happy mail or any of that, links on how to do that are in the description below. In fact, you'll find a link to a site called Linktree. 
you click on it, you're going to find me everywhere that I am on the internet. So check it out. Um, so that's it. Now I'm going to get ready for bed and get some, try to get some sleep. <sighs> have a good one, everybody. We hope that, um, you have, um, had a great week. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys. <music>